David is a DJ slash astrologer. He, he um, should not be looking so directly at the is stars. Is astrology really like psychic? They're not psychic, right? They no. just can, they can see like Mercury's in your planet. You should be working now. Can you put that on there? Can you put DJ slash? slash yeah. I'm Niecy Nash, and this is Let's Talk About Love. Have you ever wondered what zodiac sign would make the perfect match for you? Well, today, I'm talking with astrologer David Palmer, and we're going to find out what's in a sign. Oh! Look, brother, there's a new groove. There's a new thing. Gets down to the name with it. Yeah, that's it. My name's David, and I'm a house DJ and astrologer. That hair is like a lethal weapon. I'm David, I'm a house DJ and astrologer. What time are you? Very much in Gemini. Really? I'm zero degree Leo. I'm able to express my inner soul without that rising filter. OK, so there are 12 zodiac signs, right? Yep. Break that down for me. All right, so the waters are the Pisces, the Scorpios, and the Cancers. If you're the same sign, you're the same color. So it's like you see red, they see red. It goes great at first, I'll be honest. Usually the sex is great right away. You know, things are just like, woo, right off the bat. Why are you picking up your knees? <laughs> I can't take it. It was not fun for me to see, of course. I mean, come on. If you're gonna dress up like a girl, dress up as a hot, sexy girl, not some cheap, dirty hooker. I have a bad feeling about this. What the DJ learns in this whole process is how to command and lead with his masculine energy and his drive and his ambition, but at the same time, learn and understand the female role and how the female role is acceptance and giving and nurturing and how you can meet with action and courage and strength and also follow that with love and nurturing and compassion and, and bridge both together and get back into the yin and yang of male, female. Come on down here. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it, brother. Two years ago, your goal would not have been to be a television star or a host, I'm guessing, because you have this other life. Is that other life going to take a back seat and will we see you more and more on camera? 
Well, definitely more on camera. I mean, I'm doing the whole spokesman thing, and then I'm a house DJ, so right even before the show, I mean, I was going to clubs and playing house music, and True Beauty really helped me out, started getting me across the nation, getting to play everywhere, and definitely when it comes to TV, I mean, I'm a salesman, so I like to sell, and I like to be on TV, so it kind of goes well together. Okay, so do you have that move with your hands when you're spinning that thing? He's on the move. You got to get, get down. You got to get down with it. How could I possibly know that JLo and Mark's marriage would shatter months before it actually did? Hi, I'm David Palmer for Star Hearts, the amazing new astrology that could reveal whether or not your relationships will succeed or fail. Star Hearts' unique scientific mix of traditional astrology and modern astronomy offers incredible insight far beyond traditional astrology readings. Take Will and Jada Smith, for example. Their Star Hearts readings show that they were and are perfectly compatible. Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, January 15th, 2013. I'm astrologer David Palmer, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, that moon is still in Pisces today, and it actually is in a really good place, making a lot of energy for us to really tap into our sensitivities, to really feel the flow in our life. We talked a lot yesterday about the flow, about just letting things happen, about really tapping into our spiritual self, to tap into our intuition. What are you looking for? I'm looking for just something uh, Elvis impersonator wise. Are you kidding me? I love it. Perfect. Does David take it? So, you know, if David were truly psychic, he would know that he's being set up. <laughs> he's not psychic, he's an astrologer. Did you get a scarf? This is the one I wanted you to have. Oh. I think you need this one. Well, I don't have enough money to, so. Oh, so. there you go. Here, just... Here. No, I can't do it. <laughs> Good I job, Dan. Shut her down like a bad Ferris wheel. He's like, I'm out of here. And, and the thing about Gemini's is you have to keep them excited. You have to keep them going. And David hasn't been doing nothing in the celebrity world. And... You know what? She's been taping Cougar Town, this crazy cougar woman having sex with, you know, the pool guys and everything. You got to get the slip and slide out, buddy. You got to keep it interesting. Little John, me, Morgan Page, all these great DJs, and we get to go up there and just bang it down next to the El Pollo Loco. I mean, that's like the coolest thing in the world. So we'll take me, for example. I'm a Leo son but I have a Leo rising, so I'm unfiltered Leo. I come across as a Leo, I am a Leo. Obama, a Leo, but an Aquarius rising. So he comes across real cool, but underneath he is that Leo just wanting to shine a dance on Ellen. Today is a crazy day astrologically because the way that the sun, moon, and Saturn aligned represents a test of my self-worth, and I'm just gonna have to show the world that the face of Vegas needs an amazing person, and that's who I am. 10 people who think they're the most beautiful people in America. I'm gonna keep riding the I love me train all day. Oh, it feels so fantastic to survive elimination. Now I'm going back to my hotel room to show everybody who just won the first face off. I am gonna be the number one competitor now. I have one up on everybody now. I know what it feels like to have almost lost, and I'm gonna charge forward and win this competition. The suspense is really killing me. I know, it's killing me too. Oh! <laughs> David comes in and he is like a tornado. Oh! I'm so stoked, you have no idea. Oh! Oh! You have no idea. I don't know how everybody felt about JD. Everybody was so excited to see me, they didn't really bring it up. <laughs> Dave is about to experience parental control. You know, just besides the point that I'm a DJ is I'm an entertainer. I know how to interact with people. I know how to entertain you on TV or whether it's on a one-on-one -on -one astrology reading or whether we're out at the club just, you know, having drinks and having fun, you know? Now that I'm on stage and you recognize me from TV, I really get to push my persona that I've pushed already on TV and push it through a club, you know, sound system, just the whole entire show, and that's... That's like the most awesome feeling. Over here on the West Coast, it's, we all, it. it's all about high-fiving it. It's all it's about just it. spreading the love and spreading the joy. And you know, that's, that's what separates me from Polly D, because I'm David P, you know? We got some fucking bread, baby, yeah! America will give you some props. I'm not.
not even scared or nervous, I'm gonna go in there and just be like, yo, are you joking? You thought it was that bad? Me popping a banana off and peeling? I should be able to do that because that's what this place represents. This place is the city of sin and I'm getting in trouble for sinning in the city of sin? That's like going to Disneyland and getting in trouble for having fun. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm gonna go in there like, I can't believe I'm sitting here right now. Are you joking me? I put my ass on the line for this deal. You know what I mean? You should say ass on the line. No, you shouldn't. Don't drop F-bombs in your speech. Don't do the F-bombs. <laughs> Well, brother, this is it, my friend. This is oh. totally it right here, dude. It's the crab against the banana. It is. Craig doesn't even know what he's going to get. He doesn't even know. He's not that pumped like me. He doesn't want it that much. I want it way more than he does. Way more. I'm going to miss you, brother. You know, you keep it real up there in Canada. Oh, if I don't come home, it's because I'm too hard for Las Vegas. <laughs> What is the best sign in terms of girlfriend you've had? Well, the best sign is all the signs. I love all the signs, right? Because Leo... All of them! Well, Leo is all about love. I'm just going to stop you right there, because right now you're looking at me like you are the lion, and I have on a pork chop necklace. <laughs> I'm going to need you to stop it. Is this anything? Before I let you go, this is um, a nice Sunday in Los Angeles. It's a beautiful day out. Does the world say this is a good place to be today, David? It's a perfect place to be. Actually, the whole world is shifting right now into a beautiful era, and it's really the time right now, and it's for individuals to capture what they want in their life. So be a little selfish right now individually. It's, this, it's that time for everybody. Because you know, it makes me a little nervous, because around L.A. right now, there are all these billboards that say the world is ending in a matter of oh, days. Right. It freaks me out. Uh, it, it's ironic because it's on her birthday. <laughs> like of all the days, couldn't it be May 22nd? Why? We don't have to worry about that is what you're telling me. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. David and Erica, thank you so much for joining us here at OnTheRedCarpet.com.